Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the medication Fosamax. So this video is part of my series where I talk about medications for women's health for the OB patient. Now, this medication is given to both men and women. It's used for osteoporosis, and that is a disease that disproportionately affects women. So being a woman is a risk factor for developing osteoporosis. That's why this video is part of that series. So let's talk about it. Some key things we need to know up front. First of all, the generic name. Fosamax is the brand name, right? So Alendronate is the generic name, and it is part of a drug class called bisphosphonates. This medication is used to treat or prevent osteoporosis. And we're talking all causes of osteoporosis here. So postmenopausal osteoporosis, which is the most common run, the long-term use of glucocorticoids, so steroid use can cause this, or if your patient has Paget's disease, they are also at risk for developing osteoporosis, this medication can help. So how does it work? How does this work in the body? It inhibits the osteoclasts, which are responsible for bone breakdown and reabsorption. So essentially it slows the bone loss and helps the osteoclasts work more efficiently. So do their job better. So that helps to increase the bone mass, which is a good thing. How often do you take it? It kind of depends. So some patients have to take it every single day, first thing in the morning when they wake up. Do not take it with food. And then some people take it once a week. So you want to take it on the same day every week at the same time. And this is not a lifelong medication, right? Because osteoporosis, we're not treating this forever. So it's given for up to three to five years. So a patient could be potentially on this medication every single day for five years or once a week for five years. It kind of depends on what's going on with the patient. And then when do we start seeing significant changes in those like bone marker studies? After about a month. So it starts being active enough that it's working to help in about a month. And then it kind of plateaus and then kind of stabilizes over that three to five year period. Now let's talk about some side effects, adverse effects, and contraindications. So common side effects include things like heartburn, nausea, blurry vision, and then mild bone, muscle, or joint pain. Adverse effects are things like difficulty swallowing, pain in the thighs, hip, groin, jaw, any of this pain, this bone muscle joint pain, but it's not mild, it's severe, it's bad enough that it's affecting your daily life and your daily activities. And then things related to low calcium, so muscle spasms, numbness, tingling feelings around your mouth, around your lips, around your fingers and your toes, things like that. And then who should not have this medication? If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, if you have any sort of esophageal disorder, hypocalcemia, so not enough calcium, and those who can't sit up for 30 minutes. This is a key thing. When you take this medication, it is recommended that you only take it with water because it does interact with food and that you sit up for 30 minutes after taking this medication because it can cause an esophageal ulceration. So that's a big deal. So that links this and the difficulty swallowing. So it's very important that when we do patient education on this, we talk to them about sitting up for that 30 minutes after taking it. Let's talk a little bit more about some patient education for this medication. Patient education includes taking on an empty stomach, so not with food, it can interact with food, and then taking with water. So the recommendation is take it when you first wake up in the morning before you would have breakfast, and then don't use those normal um, you know, morning time liquids like coffee and orange juice because those could interact. So take it with water when you first wake up. Don't lay down for 30 minutes. Remember we want to avoid esophageal ulceration. Don't take it with any other meds. So maybe you're on other meds that you take routinely in the morning time. Space it out. Take this first. Wait at least a half an hour before you take your other meds. 
because this interacts with lots of other common meds, things like diuretics and aspirin and NSAIDs and things that people are on routinely, it can interact with them. So make sure you're spacing it out. Take good care of your teeth and tell your dentist that you're taking this medication. If you have to have a dental procedure, they may recommend a period of time where you stop taking this medication before or after the procedure. So that's very important that you let your dentist know that you're on Fosamax. Quit smoking. So smoking decreases bone mineral density. So it's not gonna work as good, okay? It's not gonna work as well, and it's gonna make your osteoporosis worse. So just in general, don't smoke, right? Quit smoking if you can. Also, alcohol. Alcohol can also cause bone loss. So if you can reduce or completely give up alcohol, that would benefit you. You still wanna to continue to do weight-bearing exercises because that's going to help with the bone loss. And it's gonna be recommended that you get a bone density scan every 12 to 18 months, and that your doctor is gonna to wanna to monitor your serum calcium levels. So that was my video on Fosamax. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.